I have a word from the Holy Spirit. I'm just going to read this passage. Um, Mark 4, verse, verses 32 through 33. They went to the olive grove called Gethsemane, and Jesus said, Sit here while I go and pray. He took Peter, James, and John with him, and he became deeply troubled and distressed. He told them, My soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. That was verses actually like uh, 32 through 34. But um, I was just like sitting here and I was just crying because God literally, Jesus, he was a real human being. He felt things. He had, he was called from his father, God. They all became a trinity when he like rose into heaven after he rose from the grave. But uh, Jesus, he was on this earth. He felt real human feelings. He was, di he was dying on the cross for us because he loved us so much. Like, that's one of the most simple things we hear as Christians, but do you really realize how special that type of love is? It literally said his soul was deeply troubled and distressed. Jesus felt pain dying on the cross for us, knowing some people still would not believe in him in that time in the time to come where we are right now. I don't even know how to put it into words, but how can we go through everyday life being like, I feel so unloved, when we literally had a father who died, who got nailed and bruised for us, thought of our very name, our very face, even if he knew we still wouldn't believe, got on that cross, died for us, so we could have the chance to have eternal life and go to heaven when we die. So we could have the chance to live eternally and joyfully through the one who is life and the one who through is the one who is true life. I literally don't even like, it just, I can't comprehend it. The unconditional love he has for us. Like, I was just crying. Like, I've read this story, like, two times, maybe in the past three weeks. I cry every time because, like, who doesn't? But, like, he felt real human feelings. He was hurt that he had to die on the cross. But even though he was so hurt and so hated by so many people and so loved by so many people, he still got on that cross he got embarrassed and bruised and beaten because he loved us so much. If you ever feel unloved, I just want to lift you up and pray right now. Dear Lord, the person on the other side of the screen, you know if it's a person I know, a person I don't. You know who it is, Lord. And the power of your kingdom is so powerful. And Lord, whether this person believes or not, I just pray that they would believe, Lord. I pray that they would realize there is a man named Jesus Christ who died on a cross just for them their very name their very self they were created in their mother's womb just by you with a plan and a purpose and fear is not their future you jesus are i pray that they would know that they are unconditionally loved by you and if they never find another love at, here on this earth they have the best love and the most fulfilling love that they could ever find lord be with the person on the other side of the screen you know who they are Lord, seriously, just fill them with your spirit and fill them with your love, Lord, because you are love. I love you. Amen.